A very good good afternoon. It is a minute past 1 p.m. My name is Deo Asimwe. I welcome you to this broadcast of KDR News. Now the detail. Locals from Kiembogo village of Kasimbi sub-county in Kivali district are counting losses after the yesterday's heavy downpour characterized by strong winds hit their area. The affected people led by Brian Kutegeka, the sub-county speaker, Kasimbi, note that over five houses have been unroofed, whereas bananas, cassava gardens and other crop plantations were left destroyed. The affected locals have appealed to the District Disaster Management Committee to intervene for help since some residents have been left homeless and others are worried of the looming food scarcity. <laughs> Moving on, the Petroleum Authority of Uganda, POW, has assured the country of steps in it has made and more to be made to mitigate the petroleum oil, the pet potential oil spill in the future. Uganda is aiming to produce by 2025 around 1.4 billion barrels from two oil fields in Tilenga, the larger operated by France's Total Energies and Kingfisher entrusted to the China Offshore Oil Corporation, SINAC. During a meeting with the Ambassador Richard Carbonero, Head of Regional Economic Cooperation Department at the Ministry of, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the POW Director of Environmental Health and Safety, Joseph Kabusheshe, said that already they have in place a robust, detailed and comprehensive national oil spill cons contingency plan which she needs to share with neighboring countries. The discussions focused on enhancing Uganda's international co collaboration efforts concerning oil spill cons contingency preparedness and response mechanism. Oil spills can happen every, in every place where oil is being extracted, transported or stored. The magnitude of harm from a spill is determined by many factors including the amount, of, amount and type of oil, location, season, weather and actions taken to clean up the spill. Highlighting the inherent need for transboundary cooperation, Dr. Kab Sheshe says that it is critical to collaborate with, collaborate with neighboring countries that could be affected by oil spill events. Ambassador Carbonero has expressed support for enhanced regional partnerships, adding that it is necessary to have a comprehensive multina multinational approach to oil spill management, which, which not only safeguards the environment but also ensures sustainable development and mutual prosperity. Uganda discovered commercial reserves of petroleum early two years ago, two decades ago, but production has been repeatedly delayed by lack of infrastructure like a pipeline. <laughs> Over to Gulu, the new Archbishop of Gulu Archdiocese, the Right Reverend Raphael Wokurach, has arrived at the Archbishop's residence in Gulu City. Wokurach was yesterday evening welcomed by a jubilant sea of faithful and the Archbishop, Archbishop Emeritus John Baptist Odama. With traditional dancers, thousands of people in Gulu City took to the streets to welcome the new Archbishop of Gulu Archdiocese. Reverend Father Lawrence Komakich, the chairperson organizing committee of the function, says that it has been a great task 
in preparation of the event and looking forward to the, res the ceremony being a memorable occasion filled with rev reverence and hope. Archbishop Wokraj held a brief prayer with the jubilant faithful a few minutes after his arrival at the residence where he blessed the people. Gulu Resident City Commissioner Jen Franchens Amongin thanked the security for providing safety to all the people who came to welcome the new Archbishop. She has also pledged to provide utmost security ahead of the installation ceremony due to today. Now, the race of Kigulu North Co parliamentary seat is likely to turn out to be a tight one between former Forum for Democratic Change mobilizer Ismail Badogi and the State Minister for Agriculture Fred Buino Kyakulaga. Badogi contested for Kigulu North seat on FDC ticket but, he's, but has since boarded the bus of the ruling NRM party. But Badogi who had earlier given the incumbent and Minister Bueno a run for his money in the previous election shocked the many when he publicly announced that he had joined the ruling National Resistance Movement Party. Badogi, who currently works in the office of the Speaker of Parliament, was welcomed to NRM by the party's vice chairperson for Eastern Region Mike Mukula amidst cheers from the party supporters. He says that he, decried, he decided to join the party in his own interest, not seeking for a job, any, for, job, for a job as many would imagine. But the chairman in Arim Iganga, Haj Abubakar Walubi, says that as a party, they are ready to offer Badogi support in his endeavors to ensure he becomes victorious. You are still listening to KDR News Broadcast. This is the news on the international scene. For the news on the international scene, Australia. Australian authorities have charged a soldier and her husband with spying on behalf of Russia. Australian police say that the couple, a 40-year-old army private and 62-year-old self-employed laborer, are accused of, of, of obtaining Australian Defence Force material to share with the Russian authorities. The pair, both of whom are Russian-born Australian citizens, are due to appear in court today to face one count each of preparing for an espionage offence after being arrested at their home in Brisbane yesterday. The charges carry a maximum penalty of 15 years imprisonment under legislation introduced in 2018. Dear listener, as I wind up the newscast, a quick look on the top stories once more. Residents count losses as heavy downpour devastates village in Kasimbi. Petroleum Authority reassures on steps to mitigate oil spill. Minister to fight for NRM card with FDC defector and Australia charges soldier husband with attempting to spy for Russia. That's it. It is nine minutes past 1 p.m. My name is Deo Asimwe. As I wind up the news cost, I need to remind you that we are live on YouTube at Karguza Development Radio on Facebook at KDRFM 100.3 official then on X at KDRFM Radio then on TikTok you can just get us at Karguza Development Radio and official website at www.kdrfmradio.com Please keep following us for more of this. Have the best of your lunch. It is a weekend and please don't forget we are heading to Igaya's uh, to have um, a friendly for much with the town council of Igea. So don't forget to be with us tomorrow. Good afternoon. From all over the world, local, regional, national, and international, KDRFM brings you all the stories. KDRFM News, World's Rootless Sponsored by MTN.